As the regular season draws to a close, Michigan State seniors Ben Carter, Gavin Schilling, and the Rawls Tum Tum Naren face the reality of playing their final home game at the Breslin Center. While different paths have led them to this moment, each will cherish their last opportunity to play in front of the home crowd as a Spartan basketball player. It came by way faster than I thought it would. I mean, I just, it's a day I dreaded since I was a freshman just because I know I knew it was, you know, going to come one day, but I didn't think it was going to be here this fast. And, you know, as I look back and just watch everybody on their senior night, it's kind of a, it's a big deal here. And so I'm really excited for it, but also I know it's going to be really emotional. Man, this day came by so fast, you know, um, looking at the past years, you know, the guys that graduated, and uh, the past senior nights, I just can't believe it's my turn now. And um, you know, seeing the names on the on the truck outside the Breslin, I never thought that that was going to be me. But you know, it's here now. So um, you know, it's going to be an emotional day for me as well. And um, I just, just can't believe it's here. I know when you, I know for you guys, when you like reflect back and you think of some of the days, like some of the days we went through, there's such long days of mm -hmm. training and lifting and you know conditioning, all that, but. When you reflect back on it, I know this is for me. I know obviously my my career has been a little longer than your guys. It's just because everything I've been through. But when you reflect back, like those days seem like it just happened yesterday. Like I remember freshman year when I was in Oregon, like going through conditioning when I just got to campus. Yeah. Like and you think back of all the different memories you've had over your you know your career and you know on and off the court, and you think about it, and it really seems like it just happened yesterday. Like it was a dream. Yeah. Um, but it, it definitely went by quick for me. I know it did, and. Um, that's it's just crazy to think about. That's it's here. The day's coming. Yeah, when I was when I was in high school, man, I used to just I used to hear people say a lot that, you know, when you get in college, time gonna start going by fast. And then I'd be like, yeah, whatever. Right. But man, I just right. I remember when my, my my high school coach drove me up here, and it was like, yo. That would I feel like just the other right. day. So right. I remember my mom and my little brother dropped me off. It was a, I was living at Snifi over um, ah, on yeah. the other side of campus. Uh, that was the summer going into my freshman year. I remember they dropped me off. You know, my brother he was tearing up. You know, because I was leaving for the first time, and now I'm already here on my last days on campus. It's crazy. It's crazy looking at like how much uh, you grow as an individual. Yeah. Over over the time, as you grow up, you know, go through the different experiences. For you know, me it was injuries, it was transferring schools, but I mean, it's it, the different experiences you go through, winning big games and, and having tough losses, and and how that f affects you not only as an athlete but as a, as a person. And, and you really, it's, I think it's cool for me to see. Um, it really, with, with y'all, since I've been here, seeing your guys' personal development, and I know for myself how much I've changed as a person. You know, especially since I was. 17 year old kid going on to the campus of you know University of Oregon and and now looking at myself I'm now a 23 year old six year senior and you know reflecting back and I I can really say that I'm proud of the person I've become over you know through all the hardships that I've experienced yeah it's, de it's definitely something man that's that's like it's a it's a blessing to, to yeah. be in the position like and I always tell people like where I, where I came from you know growing up in the Bahamas you don't you don't do this, man. Yeah. Like, you know, graduating college and nobody was talking about graduating college. We was knowing that we was just we just, just on making it out. Mm -hmm. And now, you know, my mom gonna be there. My dad unfortunately my dad can't be there, but my brother can't be there either. But it's just like, you know, I think the hardest part for me is gonna be when I walk out and then see everybody else, all the all our other teammates standing on the mm -hmm. side, like, like, man, like it's really here. Yeah. And then just, you know, man, just I remember when I said I had 60 more at the Breads, and it went from 60 more to one more, just like that. We've been keeping that running, that running count all year, you know what I mean? Man. We're thinking, man, if we had 10 more yeah, home yeah, games, yeah. eight more home games, five. Yeah. Every time we're that last, pregame huddle. In that pregame yeah, huddle, count them down, count them down yeah. and, and, and to say this is going to be our last one, that's going to be pretty pretty surreal, man. Bro, I, bro, I, I, I literally can't believe that it's, it's here, bro. Like, it's like the real, the real world about the, like, yeah. it's here, you know, ain't no more, 
you know, being in college, just, you know, time to yeah. take care of your family. Exactly. You know, time to, time to you know, really, really, really be a man. Yeah. Really step out on, on nothing but faith, you know. I can't wait to see what God has in store for all three of us. You know, I know, looking back, just watching the growth Gavin has made, just being here with, mm -hmm. here with him for four years, man, it's, like, he's been growing every single year. And, you know, I think it was my sophomore year, his junior year, like, that was one of the biggest strides he made in his career, and that's when you mm -hmm. got hurt and you messed right. his toe up. Right. And, but, you know, just things like that helps you to become a better man. And then when I look at you, you know, coming in first day of practice, coming off an injury, then yeah. first day of practice getting hurt, you know, you see so many things in this sport, man, but when you when you at a place like this, you got people that you really care about, those kind of situations, they hard to deal with because mm -hmm. you're like, man, that's my brother, yeah. you know, and, and just knowing that it would be, when we was wondering if you were gonna get the six year or yeah. not, you know, we were all worried about that because we're like, you know, this is a dude that we know came here, could have went a lot of different places, mm -hmm. bought in, you know, and then you go down like that. So it was really a blessing. And I think it was, you know, predestined for us us three to be here. Cause the class I came in with, none of them yeah. are, are graduating with me, you know. Kenny was in my class. Yeah, he read you. Your yeah. class. Yeah, my class. Only one. Yeah. Yep. And then you, you don't. I don't work. think there's anyone in college still. It's <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean? No, it's like it's like it's three weeks. Like I'm the true senior, mm -hmm. fifth year and sixth sure, year. Yeah. So it's like, man, you know, you get three different perspectives, mm -hmm. and for you, it's from different colleges yeah. and being here, and then dealing with your injuries, and you being here, seeing a lot of different oh. players go out, and it's just an amazing thing to be a part of. We have goals set for ourselves, and that's uh, you know win championships here. And we have um, you know the Big Ten outright championship to win, which uh, none of us have won. You know, mm -hmm. me and my five years here, I haven't won one, which is something I really want to accomplish. And um, then a Big Ten tournament championship, um, we I've won two of them in my career here, so another one wouldn't wouldn't be bad. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, of course the national championship, which we always all talk about. I think what stands out the most to me is the his own. Just the environment we have, the student section we have is unbelievable. I think it's the best in the country. And I'm not, and I'm not just saying that because I'm here, but I really and truly think our fans and our support system is so unbelievable. Everywhere we've been traveling is unbelievable, but, but here it's just, you just get a different kind of juice when you come to the Braves on game day. This zone, you know, throughout my career has helped us win a lot of games, you know, with their energy and their impact. So that's definitely one thing I'm gonna miss the most is um, you know that loud, loud is on cheering us on. That Purdue win was it? I think that was the biggest win yeah. that we ever that we ever had since I've been here. That was a good matchup. Mm -hmm. You know, Florida was a big time game. Louisville, Louisville. was a big time game. I remember that shot uh, Denzel hit on Valentine's Day versus Ohio State. Yeah, that was. That's, a, yeah. yeah, I think that that was a big time game too. And my first time beating Michigan was at home, and that was. That was sweet. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I never heard the brother get that loud. That was sweet. Yeah, yeah. so it's a, it's a lot of it's a lot of memory memories from the Braves that you know would always be in our hearts. So Coach Izzo is known for a couple of things. As you guys know, is his coaching intensity, how he can get into a player. Coach Izzo is known for that. Coach Izzo is known for his relationships with his players and how he's always got an open door. And you guys can speak on this. Coach is really known for his outdated analogies. Yeah. <laughs> his his sayings that none of us understand. <laughs> Old time were, sayings. You know, <laughs> 80 years ago. So coaches were doing a, a halftime um, show or a halftime interview at, during one of the games. And uh, but he said, you know, our, our team, we've got more um, turnovers than Carter has liver pills. <laughs> and um, I don't know what that means. Bro. And Still to this day, so, he always says So it. he just says it to this day. So I was like, What's, what's he talking about? Looking around like to, to OG, like, what's he talking about? The first thing I thought was like President Carter. I, I thought he was like, did he have liver problems or something like that? So I'm getting like texts and, and calls. Like people are like, are you okay? Like, is your liver okay? Like, you think it's about me. <laughs> oh, wow. And, and I, now, I now know that um, there used to be a brand, Carter, that made pills for your liver, like liver pills. Oh, wow. And I didn't know that. A coach uses the most outdated sayings ever. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Someone was telling me that day it's it's because they just got to the UP. <laughs> <laughs> so that's my that's, that's my coach's story. <laughs> that's crazy. He ran right through like water through a tent. <laughs> that's, that's another one. <laughs> I had to say. Yeah. 
is, you know, one of the staples of this program is toughness, you know, and that's one thing I pride myself on is, is being tough, you know, on and off the court. Just thinking back and, and knowing what this program stands for is what I want to, you know, be remembered as as well. I want to be remembered as that championship team that he refers to um, in the future, but I also want to be remembered for the impact that I've had on others' lives. I just want to be remembered as a guy that, you know, that live not because you know, he, he, he have to, but because he, he get to. But I think Coach Is might have the hardest time seeing him toe <laughs> walk away, man. That's, right. I mean, Gab, obviously, we spend so much time together, but yeah. it's funny seeing Coach, you know, when he's so mad at you sometimes yelling, but he's just going to be, I feel like he's going to be crying the most. <laughs> yeah, I, I know it's going to be tough for me. I, yeah. the, the thing about it is my biggest thing is just going to be able to, you know, trying to focus on winning the game because yeah. I don't want my last game <laughs> no. it to be, you know, I want it to be a win more yeah. than anything. That's going to top it off to make it that much more special. But I think I think I'm gonna have a tough time, man. Like like this place, and you guys, and, and the rest of the guys mean. This is like my legit family. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like so, it's gonna be like when I walk out there and I see everybody else standing there, I'm gonna be like, wow, basketball is so small, but you know, it's really a small part of your life. But the relationships you make. You know, it turns yeah. into a big part of your life, and you make you make friendships forever. Like I don't ever yeah. think we still gonna be in the group chat when we mm -hmm. leave here. We still gonna be checking in with everybody, and you know, it's just I think I'm gonna have the toughest time. Yeah, I mean, the bond I formed with so many people here in my time at Michigan State is just crazy. You know, like Tom says, we're all brothers, we're all family, and. Just to, you know, grow over the years with the people, you know, I have grown with, it's just, you know, crazy. And um, just to come out there on senior night and seeing them playing, playing on that Breslin floor with the last time with them is, is going to be just unbelievable. I can't believe you're talking about this, bro. Yeah. MSU is playing for a championship here this evening at home on senior day playing for the right to be called the winningest regular season team in the history of this storied program. What a big opportunity for these young men, and it'll be celebrated if they can get it done tonight. Big game, no question, and Illinois comes in here with a record that puts them in the bottom of the league. But this is a good Illinois team that I think is going to have a chance to surprise people next year, and that's kind of what they're playing for now. The tip is up and controlled, as usual, by Michigan State. Bridges, who's been a tremendous shooter this year, knocks down the three. Winston with the basketball right now. Driving the baseline. Kicks it to Jackson for a three. He got it. Only well, hanging in more than halfway through this first half, only down four. Nifty move by Frazier to find an opening and then bury the three. A 7 0 run for the Illini. They could take the lead. Nichols stumbling, rejected, and really just stuffed by Jackson. Here's McQuaid with the hustle play to get the ball back for the Spartans. The second ranked Spartans of Michigan State have a fight on their hands. Jackson goes right down the lane. What a slam, and he's fouled. What a great reverse move on Basile, who'll pick up that foul. Fans, Jared Jackson Jr. is just, he's awe inspiring. MSU will start what we believe and hope will be the final 20 minutes between now and the title. Chilling the senior. The ball never touched the floor and with three passes. That was beautiful. Bob Goinsman. The other way, Tillman. Whoa! And transition. Slam dunk. Now to Winston for a three. He got it. There you go. Well, Michigan State wanted that one. They earned it. A great shot by Cat. Well, these are special moments, no question about it. You can see the emotion now hitting Gavin Schill. He waves to the crowd as he hugs his teammates. Oh, here comes Ben Carter. Get the standing off as he kisses the Spartan helmet. Now Tum Tum Nairn's turn. And Tom Izzo's going to have a tough time. Tom's going to be crying, I guarantee he is. Blue Rawls, Tum Tum Nairn is coming out. The 
the Spartans have clinched a share of the Big Ten title. Ben Carter came to Michigan State as a graduate transfer after spending two seasons at UNLV. He sat out the 2016-17 season following a knee injury on the first official day of practice and was granted a sixth year of eligibility last May. This season, he has appeared in 20 games off the bench and has been a valuable front court player for the Spartans. He will graduate in May with a master's degree in sports management. From Las Vegas, Nevada, joined by his parents, Mike and Hater, and brother, Tim. Spartan fans, please welcome number 13, Ben Carter. <laughs> Devin Schilling is one of the most experienced players on the Michigan State roster with nearly 130 games played during his five years on campus. As a sophomore on the 2015 Final Four team, he appeared in 39 games and started 33, averaging 5.1 points and 3.8 rebounds. After missing all of the 2016-17 season with a knee injury, he has bounced back and been a key reserve for the Spartans this season, appearing in all 29 games and averaging more than three points and nearly four rebounds per game. Gavin has already earned his bachelor's degree in advertising and will complete a master's degree in French this year. Spartan fans from Chicago, Illinois, joined by his parents, Andreas and Lisa. Number 34, Gavin Schilling. Final senior is considered one of the greatest leaders in Michigan State basketball history. Lou Rawls' Tum Tum Nairn Jr. has been a captain of the Spartans for three seasons. A selfless teammate who puts others first. Tum Tum has been a tremendous ambassador for Michigan State University and Spartan athletics. He has more career starts than any other current Spartan and is widely recognized as one of the hardest working and fastest players in the country. He is among the leaders in assists in the Big Ten Conference and among the nation's leaders in assists to turnover ratio. Tum Tum will graduate in May with a degree in communication. From the Nassau Bahamas, joined by his mother, Mona Lisa McKinney, Pastor Jesse Brown, friend Rondell Brown, and coach Matthew Southern. Spartan fans, number 11, Lou Rawls, Tom Tom Nair, Jr. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for the 2018 Spartan Basketball Senior Class. Usually coaches are, have to teach players some things. These players taught me more than I taught them. And on the back of our shirts, and on the back of our his own shirts, Miles cloned the phrase, it's not about me, it's about us. And Gavin, and Ben, and Tom, some of them gave up starting positions. And the coolest thing of the night was to have Cassius Winston come up to me and say, coach, we think these guys should start the last game instead of me saying it. And they are deserving of it, and I appreciate you guys for it. Four years went by so, so, so fast. Um, you know, a lot of people tell me all the time, Tom, you inspire me, you inspire me. But in order for you to inspire somebody, you have to be inspired by somebody. And, these guys inspire me every single day. My coaches, they took a chance on a kid from Nassau, Bahamas, and gave me the opportunity of a lifetime. Last but not least, uh, I want to thank my beautiful mother. Um, I want to thank my beautiful mother. You know, um, it wasn't always easy, but, you know, she made a way for us, and I want to thank my dad and, and my brother that couldn't be here. Spartan Nation, I'm just going to tell y'all, uh, we not done. 
Hey, I just want to thank y'all for an unbelievable year, man. We couldn't do it without y'all at all, man. It wasn't it wasn't easy for us, man. And y'all stuck y'all stuck by our side. I um, mean, we got something for y'all, but we got to get some more, man. Like Tom said, we're not done yet. So thank you, thank you. You know, I want to thank my parents. You know, my my, my father who um, who's from Germany and who lives there still and comes back and, and come visits me, you know, and supports me. You know, I love you, Pop. Last but not least, my beautiful mother. You know, without her, I, I, would, I wouldn't be where I am today. Yeah, I'll do it for you. I love you, Mama. I want to thank God for allowing me to come back for this sixth year and be a part of this amazing group. I can say so much about each and every one of these guys. I, I love them so much. It, it makes my life so easy to, to come into the gym and be around these guys every single day. We talked about changing the world at the beginning of the year. We talked about doing things and not giving in to maybe fatigue and all the things you do. And it's not because you got to, it's because we get to. Well, tonight we get to win a Big Ten championship and raise the band. Miles, one of the reasons, one of the many reasons you came back is to get a trophy. And I think you and Tom should go and wrap your arms around the trophy because you guys got the Big Ten. So bring it out here, Miles, you and Tom. Let's go. So we plan on hopefully raising more banners, but this banner is for all of us in this community, and I hope you enjoy it. Fans, let's hear it for your 2017-2018 Big Ten regular season champion, the Michigan State Spartans. But in general, guys, we got to make sure now that we don't make this the end all be all. We got a lot of things to come, right? It's going to be one day at a time. Family on three, one, two, three, family.